Today is March 16th, 2021. There are only four days until the first day of spring. Can you believe it? I'm your host, Madeline, and I am in Mr. Moore's fourth grade class. Now let's get these announcements started. Check out this weather report. Today's weather. Today is a high of 54 degrees and a low of 40 degrees. It is cloudy and, and with a chance of rain, with, which is really good for the spring flowers, which will be coming up soon. This week will be colder than usual, which is funny because spring is right around the corner. Um, do you know what they say about March? It comes in like a lion and out like a lamb. Now for lunch. Today for lunch, I think I'm going to have a ham, cheese, and avocado sandwich with some strawberries on the side. What are you going to have today? Now for birthdays. Here's one of our teachers. Happy birthday. Hi, Samuel. Happy birthday from Mrs. Branick, Mrs. Pocket, and the whole third grade class. And your heart news. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. All month long is Women's History Month. If you have any box tops, please send them in. And just a reminder, if you need any, new, any school supplies, please contact the school and pick them up when you're ready. National days for today are National Panda Day, National Everything You Do Is Right Day, National Quilting Day, National Artichoke Day. Now here are some Gators. Hey friends, it's me, Miss Heath, one of your school counselors, and I'm here with Miss Holmstrom, your other one. So we did not realize that this month is Brain Awareness Month. Brains are super important because you only have one, and it literally does everything in your body for you. So we wanted to remind you a few things that you can do to take care of your brain. Yes, as your counselors, you know, one of our, our jobs, Miss Heath and I, did you see our cute shirts, by the way? Counselor Squad, Miss Heath got us these. <laughs> um, one of our jobs, you know, as your counselors is to remind you of ways that um, you can take care of your mental health and take care of your brain. Taking care of your brain is just as important as taking care of your physical body, you know? So some things you can do to take care of your brain. True fact, exercise. Getting physical activity, like playing on the playground, running, taking a walk, riding a bike, doing anything to get your heart pumping actually pumps feel-good chemicals called endorphins through your brain and they help elevate your mood and help you feel happier. So getting some exercise, super helpful. And on the other end of that, it's also important to quiet down your brain because it's doing so many things all the time. So uh, activities like yoga or coloring or listening to calming music can be really good for your brain and very beneficial. And there's not one thing that works for everybody. Some people are going to prefer, you know, sitting down and coloring and listening to music, and some people are going to prefer taking a walk. And that's okay. Whatever works for you is good. You just need to try something to make sure you're taking care of that very precious brain you have. Ms. Heath and I are both in the building now every day that students are here. Um, so it, we are busy, but we're never too busy to make time to check on you and chat if you need us to. So you can... You can let an adult at home know that you need to talk to us and they can get in touch with us or you can let your teacher know and they will email us and we'll be sure to check in with you as soon as we're able to. Mm -hmm. We hope you guys are doing well, thinking about you. Yep. Happy Brain Awareness Week. Yep. Bye. And now, did you know, in honor of Women's History Month, I am celebrating Malala Yousafzai. She is really inspiring to me and a lot of other people because she wanted to go to school, but at the time, girls were not allowed to go to school in Pakistan. So she protested against this. She really wanted to go to school, not just for her. She didn't just protest for her. She w protested for all the girls in Pakistan. Riddle for today, yesterday's riddle. Why can't you trust animals to take a test? Answer, because there are lots of Cheetahs. Get it? Thanks to Nick in third grade for that one. Okay, now for today's riddle. Why do frogs like St. Patrick's Day? Hmm. If you know the answer, put it in your class you saw. Don't forget if you want your if you want your riddle in your in the announcements, just email it to Miss Shand. I'm your host, Madeline, and I had a great time hosting your announcements. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch our student-led morning announcements. Have a great Tuesday. Don't forget, tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, so make sure to wear green. Bye! <laughs> Hello, Fever! It's March 16th, 